Do you feel like you belong on this stage? Because you certainly don't look out of place here. Just, just let me dad do the talking. Everyone on social media, he's this age, he's this, 16. But yeah, I let me dad do the talking. Florian Hempel or Stephen Bunting, who would you like to play? Because it could be a tasty match between you and Bunting next. Give me Bunting. <laughs> I got him, I got him now. Stephen Bunting, one of the favourites to take the crown here at Ali Pali. Because you're doing special things, I thought we'd give you special treatment and bring you up to almost the top of Alexandra Palace. Do you feel like you could become the king of Ali Pali in the next couple of days? It's nice to think so. Um, I thought you just brought me up here to throw me over the edge. <laughs> that would give uh, MVD an easy out. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> no. Uh, because, you know, you just wanted to win that one game and now you're playing with no pressure, you're playing with freedom. You're a dangerous man, Luke. <laughs> That's all it is. As soon as I won that first game against Christine Kist, I've just settled and when I went 2 0 up against Matt, I tried to calm myself down because last time it didn't go too well, but I kept composing. I've got over the line. Tell us what you think of this crowd. Did you miss them over Christmas? Yeah, I, I wanted them back. I was, I was watching my highlights every day. <laughs> we love that. Look, you've got Jim Williams or Barney next. How special would it be to play one of your heroes in Barney if he makes it through to the fourth round? Unbelievable. Obviously, Barney has said nice words about me. And obviously, Jimmy's beat Peter Wright. They're both on form, so I'll take whoever. That's, what, that's all I've got to do. Beat who's on front of me. And finally, your victory meal tonight, because we're all invested in your winning kebabs. What's it going to be? Who wants to see me get another kebab? <laughs> there we go. Scott Williams, what an upset. Is there a better way to book your place in the semi-final than knocking out the tournament favourite in Michael Van Gerwen? Oh, my goodness. I mean, uh, pre-tournament, Luke, Luke Humphries. Uh, so he's probably next, him or Chizzy next. So, uh, like, like I said to you earlier, like... It's, uh, I've, I've knocked two of the top ten out already. He's provisionally number one now, uh, so I just knocked the best player in the world out. Well, look, let me update you on the tournament, just in case you've uh, you've missed it. Michael Van Gerwen is out. Luke Littler is now favourite to take the title. You're going to be playing Scott Williams in the semi-final. How does it feel to have this tournament blown wide open? Yeah, I think it's exciting now. If Rob loses, then they're the new world champions. We hope so, because we know how well you can do. You've made some mega strides in your career over the last couple of years. Do you think you can be a dark horse in this tournament? Yeah, without a doubt. I, honestly, I, I believe... Oh, there's the wasp. <laughs> the Ali Pali wasp is here. It's just done me. It's just stung me like a good one. Little... How does it feel on the biggest stage of all to beat your darting idol? Unbel unbelievable. I just... The average show it. My double in percentage shown it. Oh, I don't know what to say. Congratulations, happy new year. We'll see you on the first. Luke may hit and Luke may miss. <laughs> yeah.